According to the CDC, more than 251,000 American women, 18 and older, have died of coronavirus. On this Mother's Day, many of them are among the mothers, grandmothers, and great-grandmothers who will be sorely missed and remembered by their families. Joining us now is Michelle Moore, founder and president of Mother's Grace, a nonprofit organization that helps moms and children in crisis. She is also the author of the book, a Mother's Grace, Healing the World One Woman at a Time. Michelle, good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Of course. So th what is the best way uh, to acknowledge and to comfort someone as much as we want to celebrate Moms and Mother's Day this Sunday? It is a difficult day for many people. So I think if you know um, a mom that is going, or a child that's going through a difficult time, like they're losing a mom, honor their feelings. Let them talk about their mom honor that day with them, hold their hand, and let it be a tribute or a memory to them as best you can. And, and you have some tips on how to cope if, if you're missing your mother. And, and I just wonder, where, where's a good place to spend this Sunday as well as people, uh, having people around you? How do, how do you do that? We always suggest that you spend time with a precious friend or relative, a grandmother, a mother-in-law, an aunt, a stepmom, a mentor, anyone that has lifted you up or nurtured you during a time that's been difficult for you, go and actually sit with them on Mother's Day, whether it's a mom that has lost a child or a child that's lost a mom. And then maybe attend church with them, go to a meditation area, a place of nature and pray and meditate with them to feel closer to the spirit of your own mother. Spend time in the day keeping watch for signs. I always look for butterflies and hummingbirds and mm. yellow flowers as a symbol of my own mom that died when I was five. And there are some other tips when it comes to being around other people on this Mother's Day. And, and I see here you talk about being with children or stories with kids and letters to other moms. So we always encourage and I encourage people to make new traditions. I mm -hmm. mean, for me, you know, there was traditions with my own mother, but, you know, enjoy being a mom. Tell stories about your own mother, your grandmother to your kids so they can understand what the best qualities were and what the loss means to you. Share photos with them, tell them stories about them, about the grandmother, the mom, and then go honor a special mom that you admire. Tell her why on Mother's Day. Write it down. Give her a call. Put it on a card. You know, let them know that they inspire you and how specifically. It makes the Mother's Day. That's a great idea. Uh, in your book, you gathered the stories of 10 women who used their personal tragedies to help others. And what was a common thread that you found in them? So I would say that most of these moms are just everyday moms like the rest of us. Um, they were tennis coaches, teachers, hairstylists, business women, and they went through some horrible acute tragedy and had to come out of the ashes. And they, you know, they used power of prayer, meditation, the support of others to get to the other side, and then they decided to make a difference for others. And that's the commonality of these beautiful women. And it comes from people that um, have lost their children in, in school shootings or cancer, natural disaster, and they all came together in different ways to make their communities a better place. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, right. I just took a breath, Michelle, as I was going to say goodbye to you, and then I proceeded to choke, and my apologies. But thank you for joining us. Michelle yes. Morris, the founder and president of the nonprofit organization called Mother's Grace. For more about that in her new book, you can go to mothers-grace.org. And you can also follow her on social media.